breast biopsy is a medical test that involves removing a tiny sample of tissue with a needle to evaluate an abnormal growth. When a mammogram or other imaging study reveals a suspicious lesion, a biopsy is the most accurate way to analyze the tissue and will help you and your doctor to determine any treatment options if necessary. Up until about 10 years ago, most biopsies that were performed were open surgical biopsies. This procedure is more invasive than a needle biopsy and is performed in a hospital setting. A much larger incision is made and a much larger sample is removed. Today, biopsies are easier, more efficient, relatively painless, and involve little to no recovery time. The test can be performed in a comfortable and convenient outpatient radiology setting. State-of-the-art medical imaging techniques are used to guide the needle to the area of concern. This provides extreme precision during the biopsy and ensures the most accurate results. Now let's take a look at the different types of biopsy procedures that we perform and we'll take a look at what you can expect during your visit. After arriving at the office, please check in at the front desk. You will then meet the radiologist, the doctor performing your biopsy, who will explain the entire procedure to you. Depending on where the abnormal growth is located, how many are present, and any medical conditions that you might have, there are different types of biopsy procedures that your doctor may have recommended. Your doctor may have recommended a fine needle aspiration. This type of biopsy uses a very thin needle, similar to ones used to draw blood from infants, and is usually performed to drain fluid from a cyst or remove a small amount of cells for testing. The area will be numbed with lidocaine and the radiologist will remove a small sample. You should only feel a little pinch during the procedure. We also perform vacuum assisted core needle biopsies which involve a somewhat larger hollow needle that removes cylinders of tissue called cores from the suspicious area. This type of biopsy provides the most definitive results because more samples of tissue are checked. The area is numbed with lidocaine, a tiny nick in the skin is made, and the needle is advanced to the exact location of the lesion. Different imaging studies show certain lesions better than others. During a biopsy, it is very important to be sure of the exact area to sample, so we offer different image-guided procedures. Digital mammography is commonly used during a breast biopsy, which uses very low-dose x-rays to take pictures of the breast. This is called a stereotactic biopsy. You will be sitting in a comfortable chair and your breast will be placed under compression, but less than during a regular mammogram. After the mammography technologist takes a few pictures and the exact area is located, the radiologist will then perform the biopsy. The entire procedure takes about 15 minutes. 3D mammography, or breast tomosynthesis, is a new study which allows us to spot abnormalities that may have been missed by a regular 2D mammogram. This test allows us to see through the layers of the breast tissue and is very useful for women with dense breasts. Ultrasound, or sonography, is also a very useful tool during a biopsy. Ultrasound uses sound waves to view inside the body and records images in real time so they can be viewed live. During an ultrasound guided biopsy, you will be laying down and a preliminary scan will be performed to locate the exact lesion. Once located, lidocaine will be used to numb the area and the ultrasound scan guides the needle to the target area for the small sample of tissue to be obtained. The entire procedure takes about 20 minutes. An MRI guided biopsy may also be recommended for certain types of abnormalities. During this exam, you will be laying face down on a cushioned MRI coil. A 10 minute scan will be performed on a wide bore system, which minimizes any claustrophobia. Once the lesion is targeted, the radiologist will numb the breast with lidocaine and perform the biopsy. The entire procedure should take about 25 minutes. After the sample of tissue is obtained, guided by one of these imaging techniques, we send the sample to the laboratory to be tested by a board certified pathologist. We then forward the results to your physician who will discuss the findings with you. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 516 or 631 Zwanger or visit our website at zprad.com.